So apparently, there's been a bit of drama brewing between Beyonce and Kelly Rowland. Rumor has it that Beyonce might be throwing some shade Kelly's way, hinting that Kelly's just riding on Bay's fame to hype up her new movie. Yeah, it seems like there's some tension in the air. You see, Kelly bailed on a show recently. No, it wasn't because she threw a fit about her dressing room snacks or anything. The actual scoop? She was chatting with Savannah Guthrie and got bombarded with questions about Beyonce and her new country tune. What do you think about your friend Beyonce? She's like your sister. You of guys course. literally grew up together. She's stepping into country. Kelly was like, enough with the Beyonce and Destiny's Child stuff, okay? I'm so proud of were, her. I know, but were you surprised? And what do you think about it? I'm so proud of her. Yeah. So happy for her. Now, here's the juicy bit. What's the real deal with Beyonce and Kelly? Some peeps think that Beyonce might be throwing shade, maybe even feeling a bit jelly of Kelly. But come on, I'm just as puzzled as you are. These two are practically sisters from another mister. They've been tight since forever. Kelly grew up under Beyonce's mom, Tina Knowles Wing. She even crashed at Beyonce's place back in the 90s when things got tough at her own house. Beyonce and Kelly, they're like the dynamic duo of the music world. They were in sync, shared the stage, and rocked it together. But after Destiny's Child called it quits in 2006, they took different paths. Beyonce, she just exploded into superstardom. She's so big, even famous folks fanboy and fangirl over her. Like, remember that wild moment at the Grammys when all those stars queued up to say, hey, to Queen B? That was wild. Let's not forget, these two have their own vibe and stories. Kelly's been doing her thing, making waves in her own right. And Beyonce, she's just Beyonce on another level of fame. But despite their separate journeys, they've got this bond that's hard to break. It's like they've got this unspoken rule. You do you, I do me, and we're still fam. So, next time you hear about Kelly dodging Beyonce's questions, remember, it's not always drama. Sometimes it's just about keeping things real and respecting each other's space. Plus, who wouldn't want a break from being in someone else's shadow, right? So, let's get one thing straight. Beyonce being all kinds of fabulous doesn't mean Kelly Rowland and Michelle Williams aren't rocking it in their own right. They've totally been nailing it in the music biz. But you know how it is. Folks just love to stir the pot and keep trying to make Kelly and Beyonce some kind of rivals. Not cool, guys. Not cool. Then there's Solange, Beyonce's sis, who totally get what it's like to be compared all the time. She's out here belting out God's given name about being her own person, not just Beyonce's little sister. You tell him, Solange. And I'm sorry if this planet that I'm living on is physical, my lyrical ambition sometimes so ring a bell. Kelly's been super real about her feelings too. Ever heard her jam, Dirty Laundry? It's like her heart's right there on her sleeve. Talking about how it felt seeing Beyonce totally owning the stage and all. When my sister was on stage, killing it like a motherfucker. I but hey, guess what? Beyonce and Kelly, still thick as thieves. They're like the definition of hashtag friendship goals. Now, let's spill some tea about this Kelly and Beyonce drama that's been buzzing around. Picture this, Kelly's on the Today Show and they just can't stop yapping about Beyonce. I mean, come on, give Kelly a break, right? This happened just a bit ago. And at first, the rumor mill went wild. Like, page six was all like, Kelly stormed off because she hated her itty bitty dressing room. They were like, Kelly and her squad were totally not vibing the place, so they just bailed, leaving the Today crew scrambling for a last minute guest. Kelly was actually there to chat about her new Netflix flick, Maya Copa, which she's not just acting in, but producing too. I went to mine and said, if it doesn't scare you, what's the point of doing it? I know. Like, so I ran to it. And so, I mean, it's tired. Talk about a boss move, but her mic drop exit had everyone scratching their heads because Kelly's usually the chill one that everyone adores. People were like, why would Kelly, who's never been the diva, suddenly act all high and mighty? She's known for being really nice, so this diva rumor didn't make much sense. But the story goes that Kelly was actually upset over the small dressing room. She even asked for a bigger one, but it was already taken by Jennifer Lopez, who was there earlier to promote her new album and movie. An insider tried to explain the dressing room situation at Today. They're tiny, like really small, and definitely not fancy. No fresh flowers or fancy snacks, just basic. Like, they tried to offer Kelly some other options, but she wasn't having it and left. What she thinks about Beyonce going country. Luckily, Rita Ora was around and stepped up to cover for Kelly. Everyone thought Kelly was upset about the dressing room at the Today Show, but guess what? That was just a bunch of baloney. The real deal was that Kelly felt disrespected. 
Some insiders spilled the beans, saying that the whole dressing room drama was just a cover-up. Kelly's been on the Today Show a bunch of times, so she knows the deal with the dressing rooms. That wasn't the problem at all. The actual issue? Kelly got super annoyed with Savannah's intense question about Beyonce. Kelly and her team were not having it. They felt it was way out of line. Now, for those who might not know, Kelly has this rule about interviews. She's like, don't ask me about Beyonce. And there's a good reason for it. Beyonce is pretty much off the interview grid, so when Kelly shows up for interviews, it's always about Beyonce this and Beyonce that. Kelly's there to talk about her stuff. It ends up being overshadowed by Beyonce questions. And let's be real, she's totally over it. Kelly had this agreement with the Today Show too. She was there to chat about her new project with Tyler Perry, Maya Copa. But for some reason, the host just couldn't stop bringing up Beyonce and her upcoming Renaissance Act 2 album. Kelly was polite about it, but you could tell she was getting fed up. This has been a thing for ages since Beyonce became, well, Beyonce. Kelly's always been bombarded with questions about her, and now with her promoting Maya Copa, it's like a broken record. Interviewers keep sidelining her own work to chat about Beyonce's. Kelly tried to steer the conversation back to Maya Copa and her new music, but the Beyonce questions just kept coming. She's like, hello, I'm here to talk about my stuff. It's pretty clear she's had enough of being treated like a secondary character in her own story. Some folks are whispering that Beyonce might be a bit miffed that Kelly walked off set when they mentioned her. An insider hinted that Beyonce thinks Kelly might be feeling a touch of the old jealousy and insecurity, which is kind of wild because Beyonce has always been super supportive of Kelly. She even showed up for Kelly's movie premiere, and that's a big deal because Beyonce hardly ever steps out for these things. People also noticed that Kelly wasn't at Beyonce's secret line launch, which is odd because it was like a who's who of the industry. Now, fans are starting to to think that there might be some tension between Kelly and Beyonce. Fans are pretty vocal about it too. They're like, stop asking Kelly about Beyonce. She's her own person, doing her own thing. They think it's disrespectful and uncool for interviewers to keep pressing Kelly on Beyonce stuff, especially when she's out here trying to shine as an actress. So what do you guys think? Is Kelly still hanging on to some old jealousy or does she have a right to be annoyed? Drop your opinions below. Smash that like and subscribe for more.